Today we're going to learn about long term planning in SAP production planning. So the topics that we're going to cover today they are objectives of long term planning, business environment of long term planning, long term planning scenario, execute long term planning, capacity planning using long term planning and copy version. So let us start with a business example. A future demand program is to be simulated for a product in plant 1000. Capacity consideration should also be made. So basically if we are if from a company perspective if we are looking forward in the next one year or in the next six months or in the next two year plan about what our what will be our um, forecast and how the procurement will be uh, happening and also how the capacity planning like the work center if we have the enough resources or the enough work center or the enough machinery or the enough manpower to do the capacity planning for the forecast that we have so that sort of planning we can do using the long term planning concept in SAP system. So let us see first some theory side of long term planning. What is long term planning? So long term planning is being used to simulate the future demand in all bomb levels. When I say all bomb levels that means if we are planning for a finished good top level product code then we are also going to plan the same thing for the child bomb level so that we have the enough capacity enough resources and enough raw materials and everything to do the long term planning maintain intention main intention is to check the capacity situation material requirement and vendor supply ability to provide the material in proper time this is not an actual run but a simulative run where actual plan is not being affected. So this is just a simulative plan but not a real plan. It is possible to transfer the plan from simulative area to the operative area. If through simulation it is found that all capacity and requirement can be fulfilled. So if you are happy with the this simulative uh, environment and you want to transfer it to the uh, the real operative environment then we can also do it that we're going to learn today in this chapter so just an overview of what happens so basically what we'll start with the what we do is we first create a thing called creating a planning scenario so we'll create a planning scenario then second step will be we'll create the planned independent requirements in MD61 then third we'll start the long term planning and then we'll see the next activities after the long term planning so first of all we before we start uh, the long term planning with the additional step we need to do as compared to the normal mrp is we need to create a planning scenario so basically uh, long term planning works or looks pretty much similar to normal MRP that we have seen before like MD02, MD01, MD04. This is similar but only the different transaction. But the only additional thing that you can find here is that is it got a thing called planning scenario. So every long term planning that we create is against a planning scenario. So first I'm going to show you how to create the planning scenario and then we'll be using the planning scenario for our uh, long term planning. So to create the planning scenario you can go to the main menu. So basically this is not a customizing, creating the planning scenario is not a customizing, uh, it's sort of master data. You can go through here, production planning. Uh, long term uh, production planning long term planning and then scenario and ms31 to create ms32 to change so go to ms31 and here enter a so here you can see if i open this search box you can see the existing planning scenario in the system and if you want to create a new one then you need to enter a three digit number so system doesn't accept any y or z here so basically make sure you start with the 
digits are for example I can say uh, let me see if what numbers are taken already okay so I can create 100 100 is there so I can create a uh, 200 for example 200 number so give it a planning scenario I can say uh, planning scenario for plant thousand this can be a plant specific this can be a customer specific as well so this the planning scenario can be used in different forms for example we can limit a plant only for the planning scenario or we can limit a requirements uh, type or we can create it at some time what happens is with some business they have like a major customer so they just want to uh, create the planning for that specific customer so that they have everything in advance so for the major customer they can create a planning separately here so there are different purpose of using the planning scenario so let me create it for a plant and just like the long term planning and press enter here you can enter the dates here for example you can say the planning uh, scenario is starting from this date or up to that date you can select a date or you can limit a date or you can make it like a forever I can enter up to valid up to 399999 that means this is a forever it will it is valid forever and there are a couple of settings and I'm going to show you the major settings and the meaning here before we move further so here you can see the opening stock if I open this box so opening stock that means when you can I can press F1 here to see more detail so this means that in the when you run the long term planning do you want to use any type of the stock for example do you want to use the safety stock as opening stock or do you want to use the plant stock as well or do you want to use the average of plant stock from different plants so different option we have so I can so by default you can see one selected one here or you can say no no opening stock you can leave it blank that means we do not want to use a safety stock as a opening stock so what is opening stock basically if I show you the MD04 screen just to refresh your memory for example you here you can see the opening stock see that's the stock stock is zero here so that stock can be coming from the other plants as well so system is asking do you want to use that stock I can say no I don't want to use the plant stock or any other stock then the next checkbox is dependent requirement for reorder po uh, point material if I select this one and press F1 here this is saying that um, this selection determines whether dependent requirements are also to be created for material plan using one of the consumption based planning procedure and whether they are included in the planning run. basically do you want to use the dependent requirements what are dependent requirements you know that already okay so do, if you want to use the dependent requirements then select this one that's fine then do you want to consider a sales order you can select and select switch of the planning time fence what is planning time fence we have seen in the previous video about the planning time fence that we can maintain uh, in the material master or in the customizing as well so if do you want to use the planning time fence or not use direct production what is that let me press F1 on this one this lets that the system is to use direct production in long term planning if you plan material with a special procurement key direct production the system creates a collective order so basically this is if you select this one system will be creating a collective order if you if you unselect this one system will not be creating a collective order now what is collective order we will learn later on in the production order chapter then use make to order or project planning so if you want to use the make to order or project planning then you can select this one as well and then next is switch off scrap calculation so system can automatically calculate the scrap so in one of the previous video if you remember that uh, can't remember which video but somewhere I think we did discuss about the scrap uh, that you can mention here so like every material in the real time when you create any material then uh, we can it system will be so for example if I need to create 100 pieces of something then probably one or two pieces may be rejected so that's a scrap so here you can select the assembly scrap that means if you say if I said 10 percent here the scrap is that means 10 percent will be the scrap while the production process so this is assembly scrap